Hi, my name's Nathan. I'm a first study horn player at the University of York. And I'm just going to talk to you about the French horn, its uses and how to write for it. The horn can be found in many Baroque works, for example some of the Bach Brandenburg concertos, right up to its frequent use in modern day film music. Arguably the most famous piece of music written for the horn are the Mozart horn concertos, which are frequently found in orchestral programmes and audition requirements. In more modern music, John Williams's compositions also showcase the horn frequently, and you can hear the instrument in almost all of his film soundtracks. Horn players mostly read in F, although most players will also be able to read music in a range of transpositions such as horn in C, D, E, E-flat and G. The range of the horn is roughly four octaves, although specialist high and low players can expand this range in their respective directions. So from a pedal C, all the way up to a high C. Most compositions stick within this range though, and pieces generally don't stretch to both extremes, although some of contemporary music does. Most players use double horns, like this one, which consists of two sides, the F and B flat sides, which you can see here, near B flat and F. The sides are used for different fingerings and give different sounds depending on what you're looking for. Some professionals will also use triple horns for some or all of their playing. These give the player a third side of the instrument, most commonly an alto F side, which is pitched an octave higher than the normal F side. This gives greater stability in the higher register. The horn is relatively unique for its reliance on the harmonic series to pitch notes. This means that a large number of notes can be played just by changing the embouchure and speed of air, like this. As you just heard, as you get higher, the harmonics are closer together, so more notes of the scale can be played without the need to change valves. Writing for the horn gives the opportunities for the use of many different timbres and sound qualities. Perhaps the most obvious is hand stopping, which takes the sound from this. To this. Hand stopping isn't particularly easy as you get in the lower range, maybe from middle C. At that point we'd use a stopping mute, which sounds like this. The other kind of mute we use is called a straight mute, which is generally what we use if consort is written. That sounds like this. Most of the techniques we can use are related to tonguing, double, triple and flutter tonguing. So double, triple, and flutter. Like other wind instruments, some players can also play multiphonics. The horn is also unique in that the right hand can be used to alter the pitch of the instrument. This is often used for tuning when playing in orchestras, but can also be used to play microtones by half stopping the instrument. This sounds like this. <laughs> Lastly, I'd just like to make you aware of some common mistakes when writing for the horn. First and foremost, there needs to be time to breathe, particularly when we're playing in the high and low registers. There also needs to be a short gap in between drastic changes of registers. Because of the way the embouchure is used, several things need to happen for a significant shift in register. This doesn't need to be a long time, just enough for the necessary changes to be made. The same is true if a mute needs to be taken in or out of the instrument. Finally, just be aware that a glissando from stopped to unstopped can only happen upwards and vice versa so stopped to unstopped only upwards. Otherwise you get a jump in the sound like this. <laughs> 